there's a lot of you noobs out there uh, a lot of you people out there you want to start on a fast motorcycle for whatever reason I don't know because maybe it, you think it makes you look cooler out here you know because there's a lot of you know alpha males out here that just they want to be seen as tough they don't want to start on a small bike they want that big bike they want that super bike they want that faster bike you know looks is everything to them perception is everything to them even though it's only in their own mind <laughs> they're a legend in their own mind but for those of you noobs out there that want to start on a super sport or super bike motorcycle even though I highly don't recommend it I'm gonna tell you and show you how to do it in this video let's go for a ride watching cycle cruises all on one motorcycle channel subscribe today continue to leave video suggestions but you may find what you're looking for by visiting my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab my videos and those are a bunch of playlists with all of my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through i'll tell you guys i'm really loving this new full carbon next xr2 helmet which i'll include a link to in the description and comment section of this video man this thing is light but for those of you noobs out there that absolutely have to start on that fast super bike or super sport I'm gonna tell you guys the number one reason why noobs uh, end up failing when they try to start on a fast bike is because they don't have they don't know how to handle the throttle properly you know they think they know what they're doing and they end up grabbing too much throttle a lot of the times they don't know how to control the bike and they end up you know you know crashing on the bike so for those of you like I said that want to get on these fast bikes what I recommend is finding a, a, a super sport a super bike that is friendlier to new riders and this is not one of them <laughs> This bike, uh, it doesn't have the rider modes on here where it reduces the power on the bike. All three modes on this bike are full power. And I'll tell you, this guy, this bike does have a, a quite violent pull on it. Oh, man! It's got, it, which is fun for us more seasoned riders. Uh, but for new riders, it could be troublesome. Um, so I don't really recommend starting on this bike, but I will tell you guys my CBR 1000 double R Now that bike I think some of you guys could start on that bike because the the fueling on the you know the throttle fueling It's so smooth on that bike man. It's not violent You know, that's why some people call it boring even though it is a fast bike It can run 10 seconds flat in a quarter mile, which is fast but it does it so smooth that you don't even uh, realize how fast you're going man but for if you grab a handful of throttle on the cbr it could possibly buck a new rider off it probably will but i'll tell you the bike just handles so smooth and the throttling is so smooth you may be able to start but i would still wouldn't fully recommend it i would recommend if you're going to go with the super sport or super bike get one that has the power modes and i'll tell you the suzuki gsxr 600 and 750 i don't know if the 1000 has it as well but i know the 600 does for sure it has power modes on there it has three power modes at least uh the older ones i don't know about the newer ones if you get an older one like the 2007 and 8 i know for sure that that has the three power levels on there and uh, so I would recommend you start at the lowest power level until you get comfortable with the bike and then work your way up through the power levels. Now I know some of you guys are going to be real quick to jump to that full power. You want to experience the full power. But if you don't have the skills and uh, like I said that power can set you up for a real fucked up day. It can. Seriously. I'll tell you guys you know. Even though I rode in my teens, when I started back later on, when I can afford a motorcycle. Because <laughs> there was a period, I, I went through a very broke period in time, especially when I was going to college. That, uh, I'll tell you guys that I started back on a, two, a CBR 250R. And I'm glad that I did. 
because uh, that helped me get used to the throttle again, handling of the bike, and uh, and then I stepped up. I think it was about six months or seven months later or whatever. I, I stepped up, or right, maybe even less than that. I don't remember. I, then I stepped up to the CBR 600 RR 2008, and I will tell you guys that that was like night and day. <laughs> <laughs> compared to the 250 and now it almost handed me my butt a couple of times when I first got on it because the throttle on that bike is is it's not like the CBR 1000 double R where it's just smooth all the way up through the RPM range that it hits a certain RPM and BAM it's like a turbo comes on man so if you crank you whiskey throttle that bike, it can really buck you off that bike, man. Um, I won't recommend, I know a lot of people have started on the 600 R and they've done fine, but there's a lot of people that haven't as well. Honestly, in my opinion, I really wouldn't recommend that bike as a, a starter bike. But the, another problem that a lot of noobs uh, run into is that they try to, they watch Twist of the Wrist by Keith Code, which is an excellent, <laughs> I highly recommend that video, but what they do, they go check that video out and then they think they're equipped with all the skills now that they can go out here on the streets and do some street Rossi action and get some knee slide action. <laughs> and then they end up getting their butts handed to them and crashing because they fly around the corner and then they get scared to panic and then hit the front brake or something and it list stands the bike up and they end up uh you know running wide or they low side or whatnot they get scared freak out and they crash on the side all because they uh you know in my opinion take it to the track do not try to treat these streets as your personal racetrack you know that's why a lot of guys they get rid of their sport bikes and they just get harleys out here and i'm, I'm even thinking of possibly doing <laughs> after getting that speeding ticket i got because it really sucks riding around here slow on this bike man i'll tell you i love this bike though it's really comfortable though with this uh the seating position and the bars makes it real nice and it's real smooth but man i it's like i got it's like a you know like i like i tell you guys in past videos the throttle is like crack you know to a crackhead to, that's how it is to me crack the throttle man that's what it's saying that's what it wants and I can't give it to it. I can't do it, man, because if I do it, I end up in jail, man. Be somebody's little in there cleaning drawers and shit. F that, man. I don't want that shit. This throttle is like, it's an adrenaline right there, ready for me to uh, <laughs> release the adrenaline in my blood, man, and, and have a real good time. But I can't do it. Because I don't want to lose my license. I don't want to go to jail and end up in there with the booty warrior. You know what I'm saying? In this prison, booty. Booty was uh, more important than food. <laughs> yeah, baby. I love the sound even with the stock exhaust, man. But, yeah, you have to. And, and don't. Another thing is, a lot of new riders, they. Um, they, they, they ride scared. And I did a video on that. Go check the video link in the description and comment section of this video. That's how you have to hit the mindset you need on the streets. Like you're going into battle. These cars are your enemies. You gotta have a tactical plan. Can't be a little you Gotta have the heart of a soldier. They ride scared out here, man. You know, uh, they they scared. They hear all the negative stuff that people are saying, and they see videos or whatnot. Um, and uh, and they they ride. And when you ride scared like that, you you make mistakes. You know what I'm saying? Because you're too worried about oh something's gonna happen to you out here. You gotta ride like a boss out here. Take the MSF class, guys. You'll learn the skills you need. Don't try to do. Uh, get out here and just go to the DMV and get your motorcycle license and take the test. Take the MSF class, guys. They'll show you the maneuvers and techniques to help keep you safe out here. 
you'll be better prepared to handle a motorcycle uh, if you go to the, the MSF class. Uh, so, don't, uh, definitely, man. But see right there, guys, I just hit that throttle up. But it jerked me back, man. And for a new rider that's not ready for that, and they just do a little too much on that throttle, boom, it can knock, take you, buck you right off the bike, you know? So, number one key takeaway here for you is, like I said, get a bike with the rider modes, with the power modes. Uh, be very cautious with the throttle. Don't try to take these corners out here like a street Rossi. Um, just cruise out here. You know what I'm saying? If you want to have fun, like I said, take it to the track where I need to go. <laughs> because I tell you, it's not worth losing your license for a few seconds of fun out here, man. It's really not. And I ended up in jail with the booty war. It just so. <laughs> and I, I'll be honest with you, for you new riders out there. You're going to have more fun starting on a smaller bike because you can really bang through the gears and you're not doing crazy uh, illegal speeds. And if you really want to have fun, like I said, the dual sport and supermoto, man, where you can drop the bike, pick it up, you're not worried about it getting scratched up. It can take a beating. You can go off-road. You can have fun. You know, I've told you guys a million times in a lot of my different videos, but I'll say it over and over again. But if you have to, absolutely <laughs> definitely want to go the sport bike route only, um, start with the smaller bike but if you have to like i said you know do your research and find those bikes that have the power modes out there just take it easy out here on the streets wear that full gear guys the helmet pants all the stuff man wear the gear and if you want to get the gear i have with this awesome lightweight helmet i'm rocking right now full carbon uh, i include links to all of my gear in the description and comment section of my videos uh, or if you go to my website, cyclecruiser.com, click on the menu tab, My Gear, and that's links to all of my stuff. Thumbs up, check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.